like I just feel like it's just not appropriate. I love the slouch to it. I feel like especially in this color. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I was really kindly tagged by Jojo Lux to do this video. Please follow her channel. She has so many awesome bags, guys. Like she recently got this Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse in the Mono Glam and it is really pretty. So please check out her channel. I feel like her channel is so underrated. She has so many gems. But she tagged me to do this video called Predicting 5 Bags I'm Gonna Wear This Season. So I'm just gonna make this video about bags that I think I'm gonna wear a lot in the next month or so. And honestly guys, I have been really re-evaluating my whole collection ever since I watched Beto Leatherworks video about deconstructing a, a Birkin bag. After seeing the way that that bag deteriorated, it really made me feel like, oh gosh, like I really shouldn't be neglecting my bags. I should be wearing them and using them as often as I can because at the end of the day, they're just bags and they will deteriorate over time, even just sitting on your shelf. So, you know, I feel like we should really appreciate the things we have and sometimes having less is better because you can actually utilize your things instead of having things just sitting on the shelf and honestly now that I have like 20 or so bags it's really hard for me to utilize my entire collection because there's only seven days in the week guys I'm finding there are certain bags which don't really suit my lifestyle as much even though I love them for example my Birkin I feel like is too flashy for my everyday life like going to work and things and I know a lot of you guys have said that you wear your Birkin to work but for me I don't feel like I just feel like it's just not appropriate I don't know guys like that's probably just something in my head and you know I just for this stage in my life I'm not confident to wear this every day this is just for when I'm out on the weekends and unfortunately in Melbourne it's raining a lot so recently I actually have been wearing my Brighter Brack case a lot because it's always raining and I just need like a canvas bag. So there's just many times where I can't wear my Birkin, but I'm not letting it go. But just things like that. Also bags that I find too small, like my Veru bag, I find is a little bit not right for my lifestyle either, but it's a beautiful bag. So I'm just really reflecting on my collection. But bags that I think I will totally wear and what I see myself just picking up and wearing right now are bags such as my Belide 35. Uh, this bag I picked up from Vestier recently and a lot of you guys really like this bag. I was actually surprised. I thought a lot of you guys would be saying, oh my gosh, that is way too big or ugly color or something. But I really love this Belide 35 because... It's really under the radar, and I don't feel like it's as flashy as a Birkin, and I don't know, maybe I should get over that in my head, but it's also a really versatile colour. Etope, I think, matches a lot of things in my wardrobe. I, I just like this colour, and I find that lately I've been gravitating towards, like, more greyish tones. This is more of a, this is actually like a mix of grey and brown. But yeah, I'm kind of gravitating to more, towards more greyish tones lately. I don't know why. I know a lot of my collection is like rainbow colour, but this bag has been like amazing to wear. I've also dressed it up with my rainbow twilly, which looks really cute. But today I have some very uh, kind of more low-key twillies. I just love these. I recently washed them. They were on my other Belide bag, but I think it really suits this bag as well because you can see it kind of has a silver key and it just goes with all the palladium hardware and I think a little pop of colour like my Rose Mexico road Rodeo just you know adds a bit of my own personal touch so I just love this combination of how I've dressed it up but yeah because it's just a blank canvas you can literally it looks amazing just plain as well like with no twillies and I love the slouch to it it's it is hefty it's a really heavy bag but I don't know I think it's fine just carrying it like this um, you can also add a shoulder strap I recently picked up this shoulder strap as well which you can use to crossbody it so yeah I don't know I really like the bleed 35 I don't think it would be for everybody because not everybody loves like big sacks of bags you can just chuck all your stuff in I know uh, the trend has been more towards smaller mini bags because I think people just like having you know a very lightweight bag that they don't have to lug around whereas this is definitely a bag which I feel like you're lugging it around but because I love bags I just love having a bag I feel like it's like a little like I don't know like a like a security blanket for me like I love having a big bag so 
yeah, I really love this bag. I think I'm going to wear it today. So that's, that's the first bag. Second bag I think I'm going to wear a lot because I'm really excited to wear it. Um, is my mini Belide. Again, it's another Belide, but this is in the Rouge de Coeur colour. And I feel like I'm going to wear this a lot this season, only because I picked up a new longer shoulder strap for it. It usually comes with um, a shorter crossbody. And you'll find that on the Mini Kelly and on a lot of the Hermes mini bags that have a detachable strap. Um, it's kind of more suitable for a shoulder length um this one does crossbody okay when i'm wearing just like a t-shirt and like shorts or something like a summer outfit but i find that in the winter time i'm always wearing like big coats like puffy things and with the shorter shoulder strap i just don't reach to, for it because i find sometimes i just want a crossbody bag so now that i got this strap for it i think i'm gonna wear it a lot more with like my puffy jackets and like sporty clothes because although this kind of i feel like this can be a dressy bag and a casual bag and with like the sporty strap it makes it a lot more kind of cool and casual and just easy for day-to-day -day wear so i'm really excited to wear this uh, more often and i just love the color it's such like a cherry red it's just so gorgeous so i think i'm going to be wearing this another belead bag as well recently i've been really obsessed with my new picotin um i got offered this at the boutique uh just recently it's the morph sylvester lucky daisy picotin and i just love this color um it's not as easy to style for some reason i find that it goes with more brown like gray outfits even like white just because the colour, I don't know, for some reason it's not the easiest to match, but it's so cute. I feel like I could just wear it with anything because it's just so adorable. And yeah, on the weekends I'll probably wear this more than like my day-to-day -day life. Only because, I don't know, I think the more Sylvester, I have to be a little bit more careful than like something like this. I don't know, I just feel like it's a little bit more precious, but I just love it. I think it's such a beautiful bag and I'm so thankful that I was able to buy it from the boutique. So definitely this one is going to be one I'm wearing a lot this season. I've been, I, I just can't, can't stop using this guys. Like I could honestly use this every day for a whole year and I probably would never get sick of it. I bought, bought this when I went on my Sydney holiday from a consignment store and it's in the Vert Armand color. Again, it's like a gray tone in a beautiful grainy leather. This is the size Garden Party 30. So it's super lightweight as well. And you know, it will just accommodate all my stuff really easily i've been enjoying dressing it up with like different twillies and things and just like getting different looks so yeah i would recommend the garden party 30 if you just want an easy day-to-day -day bag and you don't mind that it doesn't have a crossbody because yeah i don't really mind the crossbody thing unless it's like a mini bag then i feel like it's good to have crossbody but something like this it's really easy to just grab and go so there's that and then um, it's kind of like hard because I have so many nice bags like that I love but I really find that I just know that I'm going to be wearing this a lot this season as well and that is my um, omnibus bag. <laughs> I picked this up from Vestiaire last year for a really good deal like 2000 something dollars and this bag it is just such such a beautifully made bag. I'd really recommend trying to find an omnibus PM if you guys can. This one is from 2008 but Honestly, it is fully leather lined. It's such a beautiful Clemence leather. It has feet. Um, this bag, it feels like a $10,000 bag, but it was, yeah, I feel like it feels like as substantial as like a Birkin or Kelly, but I picked it up for like around the $2,000 mark and I really love it with my rainbow twilly. I've been really enjoying dressing my bags up with this really cool twilly. I feel like it's very extra. Definitely doesn't coordinate with all my outfits either, but it just gives it a real impact. And I feel like especially in this color, it really goes. Um, and on the other side, I just have a plain black twilly. But yeah, I really enjoy it. I think I just enjoy having bags with top handles so I can dress different twillies on them because I just love twillies. I love collecting all the different patterns and colors and having different charm combinations. It just gives me a lot of joy. Like I'm kind of obsessed. So yeah, I think I'm definitely going to be wearing this a lot as well. Also because it fits a lot. Like it's a good capacity and it also is kind of low key. Like a lot of people don't know this is an Hermes bag. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think of my top five picks for the season. And I'm going to tag a few YouTubers to do this video as well. And I'll talk to you guys on my next one. Bye.